Hi everybody, another inside baseball video tutorial. Well, it's not really a tutorial, this is just kind of a, a preference that I have. So if you run a DAISY local server, um, you'll probably use a Windows batch file, won't you? And you'll probably use config files as well. Well, you definitely will. Um, but let me show you something that I do, which I didn't know about until a couple of months ago, and now is a cornerstone of what I do with local servers with testing and uh, playing around with mods and making videos and that sort of stuff and that is having multiple batch files dot bat files to start the servers and multiple config files as well now I did do a video about this already um, and at the time I thought it would be you know quite useful um, and if you've been dealing with local servers for a long time you're probably thinking well this is old hat Rob well but to me this is now absolutely amazing and saves me so much time so if you do have a local server highly recommend you do this so what you're looking at so these are all my bat files these are all the start files for the server and these are the config files that I have for the server and so what this enables me to do instead of having to go into for example so let's have a look at this one so if we edit this with notepad plus plus so that's the start line for the server and the important thing here is the mods that it fires the, the server up with and then the config file that it looks at to get the mission you know to tell it which map to, to play with and what I used to do is I would go in and I would change these you know to put like um, Red Falcons Flight Systems Helis in or Daisy Dog in or Namalski and Mount Survival you know all that sort of stuff and then I thought well wait a minute why don't I just have multiple versions of these and so what I have now is I have and there's a code for them so they're all start files so they begin with stuff and Zombri means that they load with Zombri admin tools because that's what I do. So this start file is start Zombri with Chernerus. That's Chernerus with AI. That's Chernerus with AI and Dog. That's AI and turrets. That's just Chernerus and Dog. That's Chernerus with Helis. That's Chernerus with Helis and the Mosquito. That's Helis, Mosquito and the covers on Chernerus. You're kind of getting the idea. So that's how you can kind of do like... Um, like Chernus, for example, but where it gets really cool is if you have different config files as well that launch into different maps. So, for example, here is a server DZ uh, for Namalsk.config. So, if we open this up, you'll see that the mission here is regular Namalsk. So, the other thing I would used to do is if I was loading into a different map, I would go and change this uh, server DZ.cfg file. But if you have a different server uh, DZ.cfg and obviously name it something else. And then you have a specific launch for it. So if we go down here to the mouse, so here we have uh, start zombie with the mouse, Helly's mosquito, <laughs> and the dog. So let's let's open this up. What we can see is in the mod section. Bloody hell! Look at this. We've got uh, community framework, zombie admin, the mouse garden, the mouse survival, red falcons flights to the Helly's right, red falcons mosquito. So it's load load to the server. Then it says go to server dz nam.cfg so don't go to server dz go to a different one and that then tells the server to start up with um namalsk on it the namalsk mission um so this is i found this incredibly useful and i love it and all you need is you just need different dz's for the different maps just one for each map uh, a different uh, configs for each map and then every time you want to start the server with a different mod or combination of mods you just save save as a different config a different uh, bat, bat file and it makes things so much easier for loading into different mods you just double click and it'll fire it up double click and it'll fire it up as you can see i've got loads make sure you have a system for naming them so like nam live deer isle you know chur for Chernerus, and then short names for for the mods and it you know it has changed how fast i can create content when it comes to days and testing things for uh, Daisy local servers. Anyway, that's enough of me uh, waffling on about how much I love bat and config files. Um, what do you think? Have you got other shortcuts that I could be taking that you know about? If you have, put them in the description in the uh, comment section below the descriptions. If you enjoy the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, subscribe. And I will of course see you again soon.